guys, what's up? Um, welcome to a new video series, which is called a crash course in neo-Austrian economics. I'll just go tell you all about it. Let's go. So some of the things that you should know before starting this series is that I'm a mainstream economist and economics educator. This means that many of the points to learn from the Austrian school may not be accurately represented by myself as they would be by other people who are of such a professional identity. It also means that I like using math to describe economic phenomenon, which you won't necessarily see in the Austrian school. The way I'm using the word neo-Austrian is to mean using mathematics to model the analysis of the Austrian school. Some may take issue with this definition, but that's my current understanding of the word. The reason why I see this work as important is because math is a way to go and describe data generating processes. And I'm personally interested in thinking about how time and the structure of production can augment our models and further our understanding of macroeconomic data. We will further be learning about two frameworks, which could be used as workhorse models. These are Garrison's growth model or Garrison's business cycle model and the overlapping generations model with Austrian features. This will seem very similar to a intermediate or advanced uh, undergraduate macro course. I mean, at least that's what I'm emulating. Because, but we'll be having a very different starting point. So the papers that I'll be covering are really just two papers. Um, the first one is a mathematical version of Garrison's model. And the second one is production period and cycles, several interpretations in neo-Austrian economic perspective. Uh, specifically in that uh, paper, I'm focusing only on one part where we're just looking at the overlapping generations model with it. And um, just as a note, if you have any suggestions for other papers to read, please let me know in the comments below. Um, we'll be going through this over a couple of videos and I hope to articulate it very well. In the next video, we'll be going and seeing our baseline model for uh, Austrian business cycle theory.